Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again. Let's do this. So, now we've walked into town. We're gonna have to supply ourselves. And probably we're gonna have to talk with Rick Brutal here. More rookies looking to play hero? I appreciate your offer, but the legendary Br Brick... <laughs> brick Brutal. Rick Brutal. That's alone. I don't need a bunch of amateurs cramping my style. No offense. None taken, Mr. Brutal. It's an honor just to meet you. You're famous across the western shores. If you don't mind us asking, do you have a plan for hunting the Gwendolkunk? Plan? <clears throat> well, not really. Usually these despicable fiends hear that I'm coming and run for their lives. No one wants to hang around with and tangle with Great Slayer of the Crystal Lizard, Hunter of the Fearsome Black Lion, and the round, dazzling hero of all four continents. Holy shit, that's a mouthful. Sheesh, this guy's clearly a few donkeys short of a film. <laughs> full mule pack. He's even more of an idiot in person than I expected. And I don't even know why the newspapers make such a fuss over him. Okay, well, here's Elaine Thomas, the shopkeeper. Oh yeah, um... Lunderbuts. Go up the farmer's robe, go up the farmer's robe. So... Where's Ellsford? Oh, behind the tree, you sneaky bitch. So... Let's give Peter the blunderbuss because he is using most of the stuff. And then, to be fair, we'll give Zephyr and as for the quilted farmer robes, just to be. Oh, that's a talisman slot, dude. Don't be doing that shit now. So, this is gonna say, yeah, you can stave your. Stave? You can save your statue. God damn it, you can save your progress. I'm already in chapter. I, I had to quickly go over the beginning of the game just to get used to it again. So this part here is going to benefit us. Hmm, what a fine mess this is. And the NMA sent me over to inspect the iron mines, and I find that not only the closed down, but the entire island has gone crazy. A pack of wild animals chased me into town. Say, you look like a capable bunch. I lost my briefcase out in the dusty valley when I fled into town. If you can retrieve it, I will be happy to compensate you financially. Or, er, j just don't open it. Private business. So yeah, we'll get credits, or money rather. We'll get money for doing this, and then we'll go buy more shit. How odd. Did either of you notice that none of the townsfolk said anything about our errant fairy here? Maybe they saw it, but they were just too polite to mention it. They seem like nice people. I don't think so. They must not see creatures like this very often, but observed nothing in their body language which indicated that they were aware of its presence. Perhaps we were the only ones who can see it. Yeah, this just gets stranger and stranger. Magical apparition, ghost, holy vision, or group hallucination. Why are we following it anyway? We don't know anything about it or what it wants with us. I don't trust it at all. If only we had some way to break its spell. It would look great stuff done mounted on Father's trophy wall. Thank you, Peter, for being such a gigantic douchebag. But no, I mean, he gets less douchey once we progress on, whereas then he actually knows what the fuck is going on. Got warrior kippon, which have obviously more health. Ow! And do double damage. So let's put them full of holes. So the briefcase should just be after this battle, so it's not like we're gonna be hunting out here forever. Go dead. I'm gonna switch you out. Dun, 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 dun. See, it'll be easier once we get more levels. So I think... What the... What? Okay, maybe it needs to be above the level experience. That's kind of creepy. Um, this must be Mr. Graham's lost briefcase. Hmm, these locks seem pretty sturdy. Does anyone have a screwdriver? He said we weren't to open it. I think we'd better leave it alone and take it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. And then I get money, I can buy all this shit well equip my team. Usually I give them the talisman, that mana talisman to my mage. Because the chain magic usually works wonders. Maybe it'd be best to switch it out in the boss fight of this area on the mountain. Because it doesn't work very well. Blah blah blah. Small sum. Much. Okay, it's 21 credits, so it's a small sum, and it's probably enough to buy us. One more quilted farmer robes, another blunderbuss, and that mana thing. Gimme. 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 There. Now. So this goes to Ellsford. This goes to Zephyr. 
this goes to Peter. There you go. Now we're all supplied with the goodies. The fedora. So now that we've done that, I guess we'll continue on. Dun 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 I don't really have a lot to talk about. It. Well, one thing I can tell you guys is probably what's going to happen is I'm going to have to, well, not really grind a lot, but I'm probably going to do, like, I won't travel to the new areas, but I'll definitely, um, uh, I'll, like, grind for experience off screen, like, in the same areas, and I'm pretty sure we leveled up. Thank you. Finally acknowledging the fact. Chain magic. Chain magic. Seven times three. Okay, good. But yeah. So, but once you get off of Giant's uh, cradle here, items get a lot more expensive. You know, it's like you two gold from this gun. Well, once you get to the next area, which happens to be um, Pennsylvania, which is the uh, Serenet Bastion, the weapon there, the guns cost 70 gold each, so you're usually going to have a lot of money. Off of Mama. And that's our first encounter with the magical attacks. The problem with magical attacks is they can basically hit anyone. But that's not a problem considering that we are absolutely killing this guy. So as we continue on. Do, 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 do. So we made it to Haley's Glen and the Giant's Toe. So we don't don't bother going to Giant's Toe. They don't let anyone in town until the Grundlecrunk is slain. So what the? I thought there was someone following us. What are you doing sneaking around like that, Brick Boodle? Sneaking around? Well, with you three amateurs stumbling about in the open, I figured the Grundlecrunk would spot you coming from a furlong away. With you as bait, I could get a good shot at the beast before it attacked. You people really don't know about much about the art of hunting, do you? I suppose not, but we do know that the sheriff said the creature only comes out at night. I doubt you'll have any luck hiding back there. Ah ha. But you can't afford to take any risks in this business. How do you think I've lasted as long as I have? Well, I love to stand and chat, but it's time for me to melt back into the foliage and continue the hunt. You just keep moving. So, as you can tell... But... Yeah. As you can tell, Rick Brutal is a pussy. So, don't expect much help from him. As you'll soon see once we get past the Grendel Crumbs later. You'll see how much of an asshole he is. Hey, now we have new skills. Magic Bullet, Sharpshoot, and Power Shot for Peter. Party Bless, Holy Bolt, and Silver Bullet for Zephyr, and Rock Rain, Celestial Lightning, and Rainbow for L4. But right now I'm going to give her Chain Magic. Zephyr is going to get another Rifle Attack, and Peter is going to get Sharpshoot. Because Sharpshoot's going to come in handy. So I'd love to continue, but I think I'm going to stop this right here in front of this battle. So. With that said, this is Mr. Fedora Man, signing off, and I will see you in the next part.